Rangers players probably don't know what's coming next when they turn up for training. Having lost Ali McCoy last month, and with turmoil in the boardroom meaning it's not even certain they'll get paid this month, there's now further uncertainty after caretaker boss Kenny McDowell handed in his resignation. Well, as was the case when his predecessor Ali McCoy resigned from his position, Kenny McDowell still out on the training ground today despite having tendered his resignation. And although the current squad wouldn't shed any light, one former player did speak to McDowell today. What are the players saying to I mean, are they, are they confused by the situation? We, like, they only concentrate just in, in playing and have an important game next, this week and try to win games, that's the most important thing. It's not ideal, is it, with the Celtic game coming up as well to essentially not have a manager? Well, <clears throat> what I say, he's there and, you know, it's, everyone support him because he's been great for Rangers like he's been Ali McCoy as well. But why go now? McCoy left just over four weeks ago, but there were signs when McDowell took over the role that something wasn't quite right. Did you consider uh, quitting as well? It was kind of spun on me, and I think you've got a duty in, in your position, um, and I'm just fulfilling that duty. It's day after day of bad news at Ibrox, be it on the field or off it, and it's telling on the fans. It's all down to the board for me. He's, he's left because the, the board are ruining the club. No, there's a disgrace. My life is stuck in Scotland. That's what we are. We're having stock of squad. Yeah, there's something that rang somewhere. There is. I just don't know what they're going to do. But one potential saviour insists a resolution to the off-field woes are close. Paul Murray has been proposed to join the club's board by biggest shareholder Dave King. Today he signed up to two schemes aimed at achieving fan ownership. In a statement he said... Dave King, John Gilligan and I are committed to introducing meaningful fan ownership and representation at the club, and that is one of the reasons I have pledged my support to both groups. The club, and not the needs of individuals, must be put back to the top of the priority list and the supporters can help us achieve that goal. Another day, another drama at Rangers, and yet still crucially no resolution to the club's financial future. Tonight's sport now with Rona. Thanks very much, Sally. Good evening to you. One of the men looking to overthrow the Rangers board says the time has come to emerge from a black period in their history. Paul Murray and fellow supporters Dave King and John Gilligan hope to replace the current directors in a shareholder vote. And as the battle for the boardroom heats up, there's trouble in the dressing room too, as Alistair Lamont reports. This abandoned match against Hearts looks likely to be one of Kenny McDowell's last as Rangers caretaker manager. But he'd informed the board the day before the game he was handing in his notice. He'll be in charge this weekend, but perhaps not much longer. Kenny McDowell arrived here at Murray Park Rangers training ground before 8 o'clock this morning and then took first team training as normal. But in reality, there's been nothing normal about the circumstances surrounding this club for some time. The players leaving Murray Park had nothing to say, but have to deal with yet more unrest. Little sign of an amicable solution to boardroom issues either. Sandy Easdale's upped his shareholding as he seeks to fend off a challenge to the current regime. But one of those challengers believes their days are numbered. Would-be director Paul Murray added, change will come and we can all emerge from a black period in this fantastic club's history. But Rangers' seemingly endless bleak midwinter shows no immediate signs of being over just yet.